from the earliest ornithopods in the early Jurassic to the last ones at the end of the Cretaceous, one observes the gradual evolution of a dental battery. The number of teeth in a row be, uh, varied from 10 to 16 in the earliest forms, through 20 to 25 in the iguanodons, to 30 in the first hadrosaurs, and up to 50 in the more advanced hadrosaurs. The number of tooth rows changed from one row in use and one replacement in the earliest ones, three rows in the iguanodonts, and three to five in the hadrosaurs. Thus, by the late hadrosaurs, a dental battery had formed where hundreds, even thousands of teeth um, in multiple rows cemented together formed grinding platforms and cheeks could hold plant material in the mouth so that these advanced hadrosaurs became very efficient at the chewing of plant material. The ability of hadrosaurs to chew was probably one of the major factors in why they became so common towards the end of the Cretaceous. Also involved in this might have been the spread of flowering plants. Although flowering plants did uh, first appeared in the middle of the Jurassic period, they did not become common until the end of the Cretaceous. And so the success of these plant-eating dinosaurs and the spread of a new type of plant, uh, the leafy flowering plants, might have been interrelated.